Hello everyone and welcome back to Rugby Challenge 3. So, we've had a couple of videos coming out with some features and with some announcements, but this is the Fan Hub. Now, we've had a lot of questions coming in from you guys about how the Fan Hub actually works. You've had some problems getting it to go, all that kind of thing. So, let's go through it from the start, get you all involved in the Fan Hub. So, if you're if you've seen this video and you know someone who loves rugby that wants to get involved with them with this show them the fan hub show them the video if you like get the word out there that rugby challenge 3 the fan hub is going to be huge get this out there get this noticed with all the people and we can have a fantastic platform for rugby challenge 3 to launch on okay so starting things off here First thing, you need to get yourself the fan hub. If you've already done this part, then you can sleep easy knowing you've got this far. The fan hub is available on Steam, so you need to Google yourself Steam. I'll even try and leave a, a link in the description where you can go to and download Steam yourself. Then you need to go onto Steam, search Rugby Challenge 3, download the demo, they call it, which is the fan hub, and then launch it, and you will be at a screen not too dissimilar to what we have right now. That's the early stuff straight out of the way. So, the real interesting thing, so things we really want to get involved in is creating these players and these teams. So, straight off the bat, I've got myself together through some other people who are involved, pretty big with modding as well, some, a good example of what you can do on this game. Now, as you may all well or may not notice, the, lic the licensed sides in Rugby Challenge 3 are uh, New Zealand, Australia, South Africa and England. They're the big ones. So I'm talking competitions like Super Rugby, uh, the Aviva Premiership, the Curry Cup, ICM Cup, stuff like that, uh, NRC for that matter as well, all licensed. So the things that aren't the big ones are things like France, uh, the Top 14, the D2 and the Pro 12 are the big ones that will not be licensed. Okay, so this is where, for you guys from those parts of the world, you need to pay attention and listen up. So let's kick things off here. We'll start off the teams, right? So we've got, of course, sevens and fifteens teams, but we want to create a fifteens team. Now, so I've got this additional um, file involved with Rugby Challenge 3, which, come the end of this, I will make available for you all to pick up as well. Okay, so here we are in the creator team details, and first off, we want a logo. Now, as most of you know, the likes of France and the Pro 12 sides are not licensed. Well, with this little file added to your fan hub, you can do stuff like this. Look, again, they have a logo. Albi, have a logo. Another French side, Bayonet, logo. Barretts, have a logo. More French sides, Bordeaux, logo. Bereave logo as well, more French side logos. Uh, look at these all, just all the logos you can imagine. More there, the Cardiff Blues have a logo as well, Castres have a logo. Well, let's look at that logo for Chile as well, goodness me, Clermont logoed. More logos, Connet, Stormers of course, Western Province, Dax, Eastern Province Kings, Edinburgh logo. So these are unlicensed sites now guys remember this that have logos France have a logo as well Glasgow Gloucester Gloucester should of course it's English and the Viva Premiership but Glasgow have a logo there you go All these sides more French sites as well with logos that I can't hardly say their names There's another one Leinster is there as well as Scarlet's what else we got? Leon, another one, another good French logo. So you're all looking here at what this game can offer. Here's another one, another French logo, another one. Montpellier, Munster. These are Pro 12 logos here, guys, and French Top 14 logos. Newport Gwent Dragons is there. I'm skipping through half of them. Look, there's another one. There's another one for Paris, Start Francais, as they may be called, Powell. Another few going there, Perpignan have a logo as well. This is what I mean, this small file can give you accurately your teams and your logos. Some are, we're getting through the S's now. Swansea, of course, Ospreys. Taranaki's got a new logo, I don't think I've seen that before. 
Some more new ones there. Toulon, Toulouse, of course. Treviso. Ulster. You know, they're all there. They're all there. The French logos, the Pro 12 logos, they are all there. Nearly at the end, they're in the W's, Zimbabwe, and back to the custom ones. So let's just go back to the last one we've seen. Where was it? Ulster. We can be Ulster. Okay. Now the thing is, we can base them, of course, as always. You can go through those. So we can have a run through of the stadiums here. We see there's plenty of stadiums as well, like always. They are, of course, always going to be added, like we've seen from them in Rugby Challenge 2 as well. Okay, so you've seen that. You've seen your side can get the badge. So what about the kit? Well, my friends, the same thing applies. So we got the um, New Zealand side straight away. But there we go. There's the Newport Quid Dragons straight off there from the Pro 12. Of course, you know, these are older kits from Rugby Challenge 2 as well. But it just shows, what's this 30th anniversary kit? Haven't seen that one before. But there we go. There's Start Francais, home and away. And there's Sedbury as well, home and away. Pal, home and away. Perpignan, home and away. And we move through to Ospreys. Two kits for them. Some more from the Division 2, Pro D2 in France. Toulon, home and away. Toulouse, home and away. Treviso as well. They're involved. There's their kits. Ulster away. Ulster at home. And just in case you're wondering, there's about 120 or so custom kits as well. Wow. And wouldn't you just love to play in that kit? Custom 99 and home and away. Goodness me. But back to the real kits. And we can see more top 14 kits coming here. Pro D2 kits as well. Some more Pro D2. And again, more French kits with Ban A. Still coming your way. Even Belgium have a kit. How awesome. Barrett's top 14. Home and away. Bordeaux as well. More kits coming from France. And D2 as well. So this just shows you guys, you know, it's so possibly so possible to have your team, you know, the mods are this easy, this accessible as well. So all you need to do is get this fan hub. Get this file. I will host it up hopefully in the next couple of days. You can all download and have a play. Here's just so many kits you can play with. So many players. And with this file, they're adding on these kits, adding on these badges as well. It makes it so easy to make the players that you want to play. Make the teams up. So when the game is fully released, you can just go straight into it. So while we're here creating a squad, a little bit of a look at the team makeup for a sevens squad. Of course, seven on-field players ranging from a few forwards at the front. And there we go, four in fact. And then we have four backs, well, three backs. And that must be a, a half-back sort of position. We can see very quickly, you know, how the squad is made up by the right-hand side over there. We also have five players on the substitute bench and then a further eight sitting in the reserves. So that's a quick look at how the sevens uh, team build-up works and we can see straight off there we got sevens players who are simply available we've got tight head, loose head props hookers tight head props a scrum half who sits behind them as sevens works three players they call a fly half an inside center and a fullback sevens isn't quite that simple but the same thing applies we have all these kinds of players all here you can make your teams and get going already on the fan hub Okay, so you're in the process of making up your team and you want to make some players to put into this team. So the same thing applies here. This is just the same creator player kind of system as Rugby Challenge 2, except you have your name, your age, what foot you are, your nationality, ethnicity as well. But you have two different positional things to pick from here in 7s and in 15s. So the attribute system seems just the same and you can even have presets at the top which I find to be quite a simple and good addition as well to the creative player system. The head is the same as Rugby Challenge 2, all those details in there as well. You can create your player just how you like. Of course, the face and the hair, plenty of options here like always as we've seen in Rugby Challenge 2. We get to the good one though, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be quite impressed by what comes at the end. The torso and all sorts for the body, 
the accessories as per RC2 as well. But this is a big one. Now, I'm trying to get to the end too. Tattoos. How many of you are going to absolutely blow your mind with tattoos like this? 51 different tattoos that don't need to be part of the player's skin. How awesome is this? Let's have a quick rifle through up to... Oh, we missed a few on the back of the leg there. Oh, what's that? Look at that. Got a player running around with black and red on his leg. Goodness me, a smiley face. Left thigh, left knee. <laughs> That's a good tattoo to have. Remember where you are. I missed a couple on the back, a lightning bolt there. How awesome are they? So tattoos. I know tattoos are a big thing for a lot of you guys as well. We've got arm tattoos. We've got another 51 that can be distributed, distributed differently on the arms as well. Elbow, you know, left hand, forearm, finger, finger, finger. How awesome is that? Player creating with tattoos. Absolutely sensational. Okay, so you're at the situation here now where you want to bring someone else's team into your game. So this is probably going to be the most, uh, this will be the most popular way to update and to get current with all your teams and players. So we want to, we want to download a team into my game. So we want to go just to this will do, most popular. Straight off the whistle, we've got here New Zealand 7 side, a North Island side, made by different people. And there's a community rating in the stars as well, which you can get and you can rate what you think of their pack, or from, what you think of their teams and their kits and all that sort of rubbish as well. So you can rate these how good you think they are. Now let's say we want to have a look at, um, I don't know, the Māori All Blacks. We want to see what this squad, made by Henry looks like so we don't have to download it to have a look at it we can see the details of the squad without actually going in and downloading it so we can see their strip here their attributes the tactics they use but more importantly the squad and we can see that this is a squad he's picked and accurately as it is this is a squad that the Maori All Blacks played with this year as well so there you go that's a simple way you can have a look now we want that team so we want to download this side. So all we have to do is push the button that appropriately is assigned to at the bottom. For me on an Xbox controller here, it's X. So I just push X. Would you like to download it? I sure do. Team is downloaded. Right. I have downloaded Henry's team. So I want to go to edit teams. And look at that. 15 teams. I have my rugby 15s teams, not 7s. 15s. The Māori All Blacks. So there we go. I have the Māori All Blacks side in my team. Bang. Easy as that. That is how simple it is to update your game. Of course, you can create sides and you can upload them for others to download as well. So that's as simple as it is. Let's have a look at some others here. We can download a North Island side. Let's have a look at what this North Island side entails. How cool is this? A team made of North Island players. You know, this is cool stuff that someone has made up. So we can easily download that as well. Bang! Download. It's in the game. It is in my game straight like that. No problems at all. Created players. We want to download a player? Well, we can do it the same way. Look at this. Dane Vermeulen. Tops the list here. Made by Bobosh83. He's got a good rating. Three and a half stars. It's pretty decent. And look at this. They've created them with the faces. This is actually pretty good. What do we got here? Ian Williams is joining the side as well. Oh, Augustine Pickard, I remember this guy from years ago. Shulk Burger. Oh, wow, that's a good Shulk Burger as well. Bustado, I like that. This guy's quite good. This guy's quite good. Another Shulk Burger. Like, this is how easy it is. Look, Jesse Krill's here as well. So we want to look at the details again. We can see that. See the positions he can play, his age and that, and his attributes. Obviously, not too much work has gone into that. So that's not the best one. Would you rate that one down? Let's have a look at the top here. Dane Vermeulen. That's a pretty cool one. Have they done the attributes there? Look, there we go. He's at a preset for a loose head prop, which doesn't matter. But that is, you know, you can look at stuff here before you download it. So if we want to download um, this Dane Vermeulen, once again, bang, download, yes. I can come back now, edit my players, and I already have a couple I've fiddled around with, but we've got Dane Vermeulen there as well. And we can go into here and we can say, oh, I think his aggression is a bit more for my game. This is my game. So I can edit, tinker, and change what I like about this 
and there's, you know, it's my game now. I've downloaded that person's creative player to my game, which leads me on to something that might fit quite nicely later on when you guys can create your own players. I can download them and use them like the subscriber series. How easy would that be? You can create the player exactly how you like it. I can download it and bingo, we have another subscriber series on Rugby Challenge 3. But that is a quick insight how easy it is to create. If you don't want to create, you can just download. You can look through what other people have created, get your game ready, and come release date. Hopefully, if we can spread the word, get people out there downloading this, creating players, creating squads, use this extra pack files with the logos and all sorts in it as well, and we can have a fantastic, easy to use, fun to play, consistently updating Rugby Challenge 3 for us all to enjoy. So that is a quick insight to the fan hub. Now, I know it's a confusing thing, but I hope this has um, explained it a little bit for all you guys out there who are confused. Essentially, it is a player creator that people can upload what they create, other people can download and use creations in their own game through the simple click of a button you can add change and edit everything you like and really it can be a fantastic tool you know for those guys from france from the pro 12 you can get all your teams straight through the fan hub download all those competitions and those teams straight there bang it's done you'll have those glasgow warriors you'll have all those ospreys players the ospreys team all there ready to go when your game comes out so that is a fantastic thing about the fan hub ultimately we will have an updated game thanks to our own hard work easy to access easy to use and easy for everyone that is my little rant done here about the fan hub hope it makes sense to you all and get out there download it have a play find the best upgrade the good you know let's have a fantastic array of players when the game comes out later this year but thank you for tuning and watching. If you'd like this, like this little insight to the fan hub, hit the thumbs up button and let me know if it made sense to you or not. And of course, don't forget to subscribe because there will be plenty more Rugby Challenge 3 coming your way in the future. Until next time, guys, thanks for tuning and watching. And as always, take care.